You know, I think a few things to keep in mind here with Lyft. Uh, one, uh, these guys have all the momentum in the U.S. ride-sharing market. Uh, they've steadily uh, grown their market share here in the U.S. over the last couple of years. Uh, they've just been very focused on the U.S. market. Uh, they're not distracted by trying to expand inter internationally or with other products. Uh, and they've also been benefited a little bit from uh, disruption at one of their competitors over the last couple of years as well, and they've kind of capitalized on that. But, but the valuation itself, the price range 62 to 68, mm -hmm. uh, you've got a price target of 75. How, how did you get to that? Sure. So, uh, you know, the 62 to 68 range, uh, basically the midpoint of that 65 implies a valuation based on our numbers of about 5.4 times our 2019 uh, EV to sales estimate uh, relative to a lot of other uh, high growth stocks with sort of open-ended TAM type opportunities, uh, even ones that are similarly as unprofitable as Lyft, uh, are trading north of that. Uh, so when we saw the initial range, uh, we thought it represented a pretty good opportunity and we, and we rolled out with a buy rating. Do you see a path to profitability for Lyft and Uber? I do, I do. Uh, you know, I think uh, in, in the core ride-sharing business, it's unlikely to be in the near term. Uh, I think we're at a period of very sort of heightened competition. It's funny, the, the North American market for ride-sharing, it's, it's the oldest and most mature market for ride-sharing, but in a lot of ways it's the most competitive in that there are two large-scaled players. Uh, you know, places like China or in Southeast Asia, Uber's departure has kind of left those markets to one big player. Um, but uh, near term, you know, we're seeing signs that there is leverage in Lyft's model, particularly when it comes to incentives for drivers and riders, also on just sort of traditional sales and marketing. And then long term, there's the potential for autonomous vehicles and autonomous, autonomous technology to uh, basically reduce the amount or, or, or times that uh, Lyft has to pay a driver, and that could be a big, a big, big lever for profitability.